Abraham Shirt was the one that signed it. Is Israel Cox was the witness, and he at that time when Johnston wrote his book, Israel Cox's grandfather. Oh, Israel Cox was the grandfather of the one that was the selectman at the time. They're all like local men from within the Massachusetts records, saying that it's fraudulent. You know. What are you talking about, Lynn? Oral history here. The history of Samoset has been revised, <laughs> and Lynn is leading the, the crusade to yeah. take it back to what she thinks is a more grounded interpretation. Okay. So what 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 is the wrong interpretation of Samoset? Like, well, what's happening is they're like it's like revisionist. Are you like no? Me? This is going back to Facebook. This will be a video. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, good. Um, You're good. The, remember the deed that Samoset bought. Samoset sold the whole pe peninsula to J John Brown in 1625. No, I don't remember. Any I don't know anything about that. No, I don't remember. I know. I, I didn't remember it either, but, but there's a plaque in New Harbor. Oh, look at that. Um, but anyway, all of a sudden, the his historians are saying that that deed was fraudulent. So um, I've been trying to say, well, on the basis of what? You know, just, you know. So anyway... Um, the stuff was all negotiated in 1813. Um, after the revolution, like a lot of people thought that when they won the revolution, they were going to get the land that they had worked on, you know. But the but because Massachusetts area was all federalist and it related back to the king, um, a lot of those things didn't sustain. You know? So up and down the coast, anyway, it's diff each area was treated differently, and. Um, and I think the fallout from that, one of them is that Samoset deed is invalidated here. What does that imply to anything? Does it make a difference to anything? It's just it's just history of this area that's long standing. And, the, and they say that there's the historical record of that deed yeah. was just made up by Israel Cox and, right, and a right, bunch of the, locals who, who wanted the land. The descendants that wanted the land and they just claimed there was a deed back there in ah. 1625. Ah. But um Wow. There just isn't any reason why they would have, in 1625, created this myth, you know. Um, well, is there any reason why they could have created the, the myth or the reality, too? Was there a reason that in 1625, Samoset would have given yeah, the entire peninsula yeah, to yeah, uh, yeah. the settlers? Because if you go see where the plaque is, and you'll see where, supposedly John Brown's house was at the head of the harbor. And that pathway going through there is the Indian trail that the Indians would walk from New Harbor to Pemaquid with their canoes and stuff. So there was like constant interaction and stuff. He probably was just being generous, and he and, it, and theoretically he didn't really know, you know, give away all that land. But there was something that happened that was he gave more. permission more or less yes, for yeah, uh, yeah. So the that seven. John Brown's family. Supposedly had the land up into Jefferson almost. You know? And 1625 yeah, is and like five thing. years after the pilgrims uh, yes, arrived, to put it in context. That, so that no, was. There was nowhere to, to um, formalize that. There was no place to Courthouse to so drop it, didn't it off. It was formalized till 1640, I think, when York was established, the county of York. So it's just, it's just a. Huh. You know. Very interesting. Yeah. Two cultures collide. Yeah, she's been getting like yeah, back and forth in newspapers over yeah, there. Yeah. Oh, really? It, yeah. Somebody wrote again yes, last week. You oh, know, really? I was going to respond. Firing a salvo at you or No, or he, this was, guy was trying to be really generous yeah. and broad minded about it and saying historians now have suspicions that the deed might not have been true. You know, it's historian people. You know, that are, and, you know, he's, he's from Baltimore and it's like, yeah, yeah, he's trying to like be. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm fair about it, you yeah. know. But I oh, still boy. wanted to present the what I know to be the other side, with the, the remaining little facts. That pull up, you know? Do you have any uh, information regarding Israel Cox and these people? What the, uh, anything no, that backs up them being uh, honest? Well, uh, I mean, see, John, Johnston was he's, he wrote the book of the history of Bristol and Bremen, uh. and um, and throughout that book he says Abraham Shirt was an honest. Da -da -da. You know, so there, he was supporting all the people in the 1850s. So that's a lot closer to 1813 than we are now. And even in six, in seven, in 1920ish, when the plaque was put there, um, we don't have the the close history, in the intimate history, which they still had it in the 1850s. You know. Yeah. So anyway.
Yeah. Well, interesting. All right. So yeah. you 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 got something. You you started it out by putting something, getting something published. Fifty fifty. I think it needs to be that it might be this and it might be that, but you don't discredit this and get rid of that history. Yeah. yeah. Which is what he's saying. That, Lynn's just wrong. That, that's just you know? bad science. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's bad, not good. Bad commitment to yeah. truth. Um, did you see yeah. that? Yeah. You see that way too often. Oh, that, nowadays it's yes, very... A complete yeah. dismissal. Yeah, and not only that, there's a guy that has a museum, a his, an Indian museum up in uh, Liberty, and he wrote a whole book saying that the Wawanaks, which was Samoset's tribe, are being revised out of history. They're, like, becoming the, the people that... that, um, that uh, conquered them are being called the tribe itself. Now, the tribe is not unique where it was actually a separate tribe, Wawanox. And the Wawanox were uh, in, uh, local to Maine here, well, the coast of Maine? or and, and Alna and Sheepscot, I see. And maybe even Jefferson. Like and not to be confused very, with very the, uh, the Massachusetts Bay people called no. the Wampanoags. Yes, Those right. were different yeah, people. Yeah. And, uh, and very peaceful, and Sam has said any description of him is very different from descriptions of all the other Indians and stuff. I, I did a, I should have caught the And so you've I done a lot of, you've been digging ago. some information on it. Huh? You've been doing some digging on the, yeah, on, on Sam said for a while. I've never really mm. heard anything that would change that, and I still don't think there's really, mm. I, and I still haven't heard their exact reason, what document, what gives you, you know, what has changed. Mm. Because um, there, a guy wrote a fantastic book that Pete referenced called Pemaquid. Six, six of them were kidnapped out of Pemaquid from Weymouth School. No, oh, really? Yeah. The first? Yeah. Or who knows who can document what was the Hunt, first? Or it was Hunt, I think. Because there was something off, in, off the coast of Cape Cod, too, that where they took Hunt. some. Uh, yeah. You know, maybe, maybe that's there where Squanto got but kidnapped. The only thing good that happened out of all that was that. Um, Ferdinando Georges was the British he was like the head of the colonies here and he was he was very like liberal and generous and, he, and when the Indians got kidnapped and he took them into his house and tried to get history from them and stuff and so his house in, well in, in, in England, England or back in, yeah, in oh. England he tried to collect as many of them as he could and sent them back on different voyages and stuff so that's how Squanto got back Oh, but, um, different. But yeah, but the mm. Samoset was a whole different. And the Wawanox, they were peaceful. But, but they were all frequently uh, attacked by the by, Indians by from the, the northern? Of nor further north, and they came down and eventually did really attack them. And the combination of the smallpox down uh, here uh, that wiped it out, and mm. the Indians that came down and attacked them. Well, Which, do you know the name of the. So by 1618, the Pemaquid settlement was not even happening anymore, although Samoset was still... The English Pemaquid settlement. No, no, the Sam, the, the Indian. Na the Native Indian American. Indian, yeah. The, uh, was that yeah. the Micmacs from the north? The Micmacs came down. Were they the aggressive Yeah, ones? and so right now they all, everybody lives up in Old Town and stuff, and they all kind of come together, and a lot of the genealogy and everything's together, too, because they intermarried. And, but they're, the Wawanaks basically is a as an individual group are kind of getting written out. i to and they're very with Evan Pritchard about that because he's of Micmac descent uh, yeah, in our area. area. Yeah. The well, tradition. I'm going to go see this guy in Liberty because he, he's very upset. And I he felt the same way, and I feel like this whole issue with the Samoset thing is part of the same issue, you know. It's just, Piling on. Yeah, looking at it from a different perspective, they think it's more scientific because it's more removed. But um, they've stepped backwards into the Massachusetts Bay Colony and their politics and stuff, you know.